Well, gentlemen, are you ready for Mother's Day? Hello, I'm Coach Lance Meyer, and happy Mother's Day to all of our mothers, or almost Mother's Day. And uh, we're here in the Green Room Art Studio, and we got about uh, 30 minutes before I got a coach. So we're going to uh, work on a uh, great little project here. I'm going to use some uh, little card here, a little greeting card. It's just uh, some watercolor paper kind of split in half and folded in two. So we're going to very quickly, uh, I've got some beautiful flowers here and uh, we're just going to quickly draw a few of those flowers and we're not going to worry if it doesn't turn out perfectly. They're flowers. They're going to be okay. All right. So we're just going to very quickly look at a couple of those jagged edges. I'm just going to put a couple flowers in my picture here, put a little stem there, and a little purple flower up here. Again, I'm not overly worried about exactly what that looks like, but I am trying to get a little bit of a couple of these little jagged edges and stuff on there, so uh, it looks a little bit like a flower, and then we'll just add a couple stems, and very quickly, we have our flower, okay? Now, what I'm going to do because I'm going to mix together my water here. I'm going to mix together with a relatively large brush um, some blue with some green. And that's going to give us, like you see behind me here, this kind of color uh, in the green room art studio. Uh, so just a, a nice color. Uh, it's got a little tint of blue to it, add a little green. It doesn't necessarily matter what exact blues and greens you mix together, but you'll get kind of a nice little turquoise color, which really is a nice background. We can still put green next to it. Uh, other colors will kind of pop around it a little bit. Uh, you can almost see that in the picture of Jesus back here, how it sticks out uh, as compared to uh, the rest of the background there. All right, I've got my color I'm working quickly here today. I've actually put a little salt in my water so that you get some cool effects. And I'm just gonna very quickly start to let me move that right there so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just doing the background here, guys. I'm just gonna kind of paint in and around the flowers. I'm gonna move very quickly today. You don't have to work as fast as I am going to. So you probably don't have to get to coaching as quickly as I do. <laughs> I do like to work quickly uh, in my watercolors. You'll actually find that the colors will mix a little quicker, a little better. Uh, you'll get a little better results of the uh, colors mixing um, if you can work quickly now obviously there does there is a time and place to uh, take your time but I'm just gonna get as you can see this nice little kind of greenish blue background working around the flower Oop, went in too far it's okay it'll be all right all right bring that so I got my stems Kind of coming down the middle there. I can always overpaint that a little bit. Okay, one of the things I'm getting is just a little bit of uh, on the side here. I'm just going to kind of pull that back in. And I may need to dap it, but I like to actually let that color just kind of run a little bit. You can see the beautiful color we have here. I could make it a little more blue on the bottom, and I could make it a little more green on the top or any of that stuff. I'm just going to throw that in there and call that good. And let that run. We get some beautiful, some really beautiful colors in there. I have sometimes added pink a little bit to that as well. I'm not going to do that at this time because the colors are going, the flowers are going to maybe have that tint to it too. And you do want to be a little careful about, you know, trying to keep a couple of those pure colors as well. So uh, anytime I'm, I have the opportunity, I do try to mix colors together. Uh, rather than just using pure colors. Here we're getting some beautiful effects in and around. See how it's not all the same. Uh, the salt is doing that a little bit and then that adding adding a little bit of uh, extra color on the top and bottom kind of allowed that to mix a little bit. Okay, so we've got that. Got to keep her moving here. Now we're going to go right to our flowers. Okay, now here's one of the really cool techniques just kind of picked up recently if i can find well it looks like i left the other brush so we'll just grab one of these uh and it'll be fine let me grab this one up here actually because bless me with many brushes so. <laughs> and of course the one i'm looking for i can't find that's okay though so i'm just gonna grab it, it can be the small one that's fine and i'm okay so i've got 
You see the white of those flowers? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add just a little water before I paint it, because I'm not gonna necessarily paint in every spot. I'm just gonna add a little water in and around this brush, little dabs of water, so that we keep some whites, as well as add some colors. And this is gonna get a really cool effect. It may even mix a little bit with the greens out there, or blues, which will be fine. One more little dab. I just want some little dots of water, okay? Enough that there's just little 